Remember this? What, less than three months ago? Teslas now drive themselves from their birthplace at the factory in Fremont to their designated loading dock lanes without human intervention. And who'd have thought it? Tesla's now gone and done the same thing at Giga Texas. But before we watch that, remember that most humans on the planet are blissfully unaware that Tesla has solved autonomy. Now, OK, it's not rolled out to every country and it's not legally allowed to operate in practically all of them, but the hard work is done. Tesla has the solution, the data, the hardware, the software, the AI, the compute power. It's now just a matter of tweaking, scaling and plain sailing. You'd think. There are millions of Teslas around the world that are just one over-the-air software update away from becoming fully autonomous, self-driving vehicles. With so much evidence that I'm about to share with you, I don't know how people can be so blind to see what's coming at this point. To see that Tesla is the only company with a scalable solution, as in it can make affordable, autonomous vehicles profitably. In this video, I want to explain where we are right now with autonomy, how Tesla has already won, and hopefully lay out the opportunity and benefits for us all to enjoy. So, let's start with what you might call evidence of such progress. Automation Milestone. At Giga Texas, new Model Ys and Cybertrucks began autonomously driving from production to outbound lots, or car parks if you're in the UK, covering about two miles without human drivers, navigating on a road shared with pedestrians, cars, semi-trucks, construction equipment and more. Over on ex-Tesla AI say, Giga Texas production now uses FSD unsupervised to deliver car from the end of the line to outbound logistics lot. Imagine for a moment being sat in the back of any of these cars. How might that feel? A bit uneasy at first, perhaps? What What about once you've done it 10 times? Once you've done it 100 times? This is going to become as normal as getting into a lift and pressing a button. Only for vehicles, it's going to disrupt the entire car ownership model. Why would people living in cities or younger folk go through the money pit of car ownership? purchasing, insuring, taxing, fueling, damaging, depreciating, parking, all of that nonsense disappears. Once you realise you can summon a more affordable and safer alternative than a taxi right to your front door. Yes, that takes a little imagination right now, but at the scale and speed that Tesla plan to build these cybercabs, plus all the Tesla vehicles that will be able to join the robo-taxi network, we'll start to see cities transforming into the future before our very eyes. Collectively, the entire Tesla fleet has already driven more than 3.6 billion miles on FSD, averaging about 8 million miles driven every single day by Tesla owners using supervised full self-driving. And this new system of driving themselves out of the factories has already accumulated over 50,000 driverless miles between the California and Texas factories so far. Cybertrucks autonomously navigate a 0.6 mile route traversing beneath one of America's fastest highways, emerging through a steep 17% grade to reach their destination. That's quite a birthing tunnel, isn't it? What a genius move to build this Cybertruck-shaped monument at the end of the tunnel. Built, of course, by Elon Musk's Boring Company, the same company that has built a labyrinth of tunnels under Las Vegas that I had the pleasure of travelling through and experiencing for myself. Card in the corner if you want to watch that. But no doubt these boring machines are getting in some serious practice before embarking on tunnelling on Mars. Yes, I did just say that and I know I sound insane. Everything Elon Musk strives to do is connected in one way or another to making our species multiplanetary. I mean, that's quite an ambitious life goal, don't you think? I mean, I'm just trying to be a good dad, husband and spread a little positivity and common sense in the world. What's your contribution to improving humanity? Any plans to colonise a nearby planet and extend the light of consciousness amongst the stars? Yeah, me neither. I digress. So that's two out of four Tesla factories having their products drive themselves out of the factory and into the world. How long, I wonder, until they also deliver themselves straight to your door? Best guesses in the comments below. Just lingering on the fact that most people don't know that this technology exists. Somewhere in all this, I know there's opportunity and I just can't put my finger on. Hopefully it'll come to me sooner rather than later. Here's someone who gets it. Mario Nafal on X posts, Tesla full self-driving is a miracle. Tesla's full self-driving isn't a feature, it's a technological miracle. Elon has delivered what the expert said was impossible. Real world, real time autonomy that navigates cities, highways, roundabouts and chaos flawlessly. It doesn't assist the driver, it replaces the driver. 
No other company is even close. While others play catch up with demo videos, Tesla cars are already driving themselves safely, smoothly and better than most humans. This is the greatest leap in transportation since the invention of the car. Elon didn't just raise the bar, he rewrote the future. Elon went on to repost this and said, for the first time, there will be a generalized, pure AI solution to full self-driving, just cameras and the Tesla AI chip with Tesla AI software. My excitement and understanding of what's coming probably stems from the fact that I'm one of the very few people in the world that has been driven for hours on Tesla's FSD version 12. The old one is vastly improved since then. If you have the opportunity, I urge you, go and give it a go and I won't seem so insane after all. Tesla's Cybercab, a fully autonomous robo-taxi, is slated for limited initial deployment in Austin, Texas, with a trial starting in June 2025. That's a matter of weeks from now. The trial will likely use a small fleet of Cybercabs, focusing on real-world testing in a city with permissive autonomous vehicle regulations for real-world testing. But the robo-taxi fleet will primarily use existing Model 3 and Model Y vehicles equipped with Hardware 4. This service will mark a significant step towards driverless transportation. While some Cybercab prototypes may be tested in limited capacities during this period, full production of the Cybercab is targeted for 2026, with Elon Musk setting an ambitious goal of of 2 million units being produced annually by year end. Expansion for the ride hailing service to California or in other US cities is planned for late 2025 or 2026, pending regulatory approval as usual, with the focus initially refining unsupervised FSD in current models before scaling up cybercab deployment. The Cybercab's streamlined design with roughly 80 structural parts compared to the Model Y's 200 aims for cost efficiency and scalability, extremely important factors which I'll get to later, but its broad deployment awaits production ramp up in 2026. For now, Tesla's immediate focus is proving unsupervised FSD's safety and reliability in existing vehicles, with Austin as its proving ground. To anyone paying attention to Tesla's autonomous efforts, it's been a long old road to get here, full of rewrites of the entire system, hardware and software challenges, regulatory hurdles, and the usual downplaying and misunderstanding of Tesla's tech and vision-only approach. Just how do their cars drive themselves? Put simply, you drive with eyes and a brain, not a suite of sensors. Tesla's cars do the same. If cars had brains, oh wait, they do. But instead of distracted, emotional, tired, drunk, often incapable driving brains, this one will reach levels of insane safety behaviour. Consider a calculator, give it a sum, and you know it won't get it wrong. That's the power of a computer. Pair this with multiple cameras instead of just our two eyeballs, and the end autonomous result could be a truly terrifying experience for our meat bag brains to comprehend or cope with. Just imagine a super fast flowing intersection, easy to navigate at speed for a computer that can think and act in milliseconds, but terrifying for us slow old apes. Let me have a go at explaining it. Tesla's FSD processes 2,000 frames per second across cameras, requiring 36 teraflops on hardware 4. This translates to split-second decisions, e.g. 10 to 100 milliseconds, for navigating complex roads far outpacing human reaction times. Let's make this even simpler to understand. Picture Tesla's self-driving system as a super smart computer brain in the car, like a high-tech guide with ultra-fast vision. Its cameras capture 2,000 images every second. Think of scrolling through a huge photo album in a split second. Those images show everything on the road, other cars, signs and people walking by. To make sense of it all, the car's brain crunches massive amounts of data. 36 trillion calculations per second. That's like solving countless maths puzzles instantly. It uses maths to decide things like should I take a break or is it safe to turn? All in 10 to 100 milliseconds, quicker than you can snap your fingers. When you react like catching a ball, it takes about 200 milliseconds, which is quick, but not as fast. So Tesla's system sees, thinks and acts at lightning speed, helping it navigate busy roads safely. The big difference to anyone else's solution to autonomy is the lack of unnecessary sensors. LiDAR, radar, gaydar, you just don't need them. You drive with your eyes and a brain, not a suite of sensors and laser beams coming out of your eyes. 
This one simple fact has been overlooked by many competing companies in the autonomy race, but at the end of the day, unless you can build affordable, profitable autonomous vehicles at scale, which Tesla obviously has the manufacturing capabilities of achieving, you won't be able to compete against them. A Waymo, for example, costs approximately $100,000 to build, including the car and the sensors. A Tesla Model 3, approximately $30,000. And the Cybercab will be far less than even that. This is why Tesla has all the cars. An autonomous solution, manufacturing capabilities like no one else, vertical integration of car parts, meaning they make and design almost all vehicle components themselves. And on top of that, a global charging network, energy solutions for charging them as cheaply as possible. The future is looking very exciting indeed for Tesla. And here's an extra bonus. The value of every Tesla capable of FSD will go from being a depreciating asset to a potential money-making machine at a literal flick of a switch once you subscribe to or pay for full self-driving and join the robo-taxi network. Just one imminent over-the-air software update away for millions of Tesla owners around the world. In the words of many people paying attention to Tesla, don't say I didn't warn you. I made this video last week that seems to be resonating very well with people and it's a bit of a personal journey for me to share about my life. Should you be interested in that, I'd love to know what you think of that video and of course this one too. I'm Will, this is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you patrons and that includes all you lovely new ones. Thank you for watching, bye for now.